What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode th two of my Skyblock series. Uh, today, I'm going to start off by doing an Envoy event. So there's six minutes until they spawn. So it's just like that uh, one block server I was on, where I think Ender Chests slash like crates spawn, and you go mine them up and you get rewards. So hopefully I get some good rewards, hopefully some keys, hopefully XP. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll be the plan to start the day, and then for the rest of the day, I will make a carrot farm and potato farm, like at least a stack of carrots, hopefully more, because I do have 1.8 mil. So I will be able to actually build up these farms, and I have enough money to make these farms. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna do this event. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, and I'll be back when the event starts. Okay, I'm actually back just a tad bit early from my little break because it, the black market dealer spawned. So with this black market dealer, I have a chance to get a temporary slash fly or just really anything else that's really good. So, okay, so he spawned down in here. Hopefully a slash fly. I've, they've got no no PvP for... Uh, oh, good lord, I can't even... I can't even hit him. Oh, there we go. Um, slash, okay, there's no slash fly. There's a slash fix and a slash heal, which I'm not going to buy either. So... Yeah, this journey was kind of pointless for me. I was hoping one of these would have been slash fly. But uh, now I'm going to run back up here. And I'm going to go find a safe spot in the war zone. Go hide for a minute and wait for the envoys to spawn. But now I do know where the black market dealer spawns. It spawns inside this uh, igloo looking thing. But yeah, I'm going to... You know what? I might just sit up here until the envoys spawn. I think it would be really funny. Or actually, I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Warp War Zone and just sit at the top until they spawn. Just cause I, so I know exactly when they'll spawn. So now I've got, got a minute 30 and I'll be back in a second. So with just about 10 seconds left to this Envoy event, I'm gonna sit up here and hopefully see one spawn. Cause they do spawn pretty consistently. Oh, I can hear them falling. Where are they? Oh, here's one right here. An uncommon one. All I gotta do is right click. Okay, I got a grinder key. Or not. Uh, just kidding, I died. Okay, well, I'm gonna not go to Envoy events for a while. Hopefully I can go back real quick and see if I can get any of like the last ones. That's pretty depressing. I got a grinder key, which I think is one of the higher keys. So that's kind of sad. But hopefully I see any other um, envoys that were not picked up. Well, oh, 17 feathers. Ooh. Oh, I got a beacon. Actually, that's really cool. Uh, I don't know if there's any more, but I am going to get out of here just because I got a beacon, which is pretty good. So when I get a bunch of iron or anything to build a beacon, I will build, be able to build a beacon. So I guess... Planned, planned on going in there and getting uh, more than just a beacon, but, you know, a beacon works. Let's see if I can sell hand right here. Okay, I can. Uh, okay, so, after last episode on finishing that uh, minor mission, I did get a better pickaxe. I got a specialty pickaxe with Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3, and Haste 1, which is really cool. And then I've got eight basic enchant books, which I'm going to sell instead. So I'm going to search up basic. They've got some on here for two mil each. I'm gonna go item and chat. I'll go n slash a h. I'll go. I'll go 1.5 mil each, just so I can get them sold. So I'll go ock hand one five. I'm trying to think how many I need. One two, one two three. So that should be 1.5 mil. Okay, yeah, that is 1.5 mil each. So now I've got diamond armor and a pickaxe. That's all I've really got so far. But I'm going to go... So that envoy event was, well, quite quite tragic. <laughs> I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fall here real quick. I'm going to see if I take any fall damage. Okay, so there's no fall damage. But uh, I'm going to go slash shop. Go into building blocks. I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy five stacks of dirt. Just so I know I have enough. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna have a gap row. 
and then another one, two, three, four, five. So, or I'll go nine actually. So I need to destroy this. I need to actually make another uh, axe just because my other axe broke. Um, okay, one, two, three. Now I don't have any wood, actually. That is quite depressing. Uh, let me break one piece of wood with my fist and then the rest with my axe. Or with an axe I'm about to create. Do, do, do. So there. I'll just create that many sticks. And then let me create an axe real quick. But yeah, today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build farms. Not much else can be done on the beginnings of a Skyblock server. Or Skyblock, uh, uh, Skyblock world, rather. So let me let me build up these farms. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then I'm gonna find this middle block and go out two more, and then create a little circle around this block right here. So this block is where the water will go, to where it will hydrate all nine by nine of this spot. So let me build out. So it'll be one, two, three, four. So yeah, um water water hydrates land up to four blocks away from itself in the horizontal plane you know big words right there um but yeah um also this server has mc mmo which means there's like a bunch of bunch of like perks to having it and it'll like upgrade faster or like add stuff to your inventory like there's a bunch of little effects that it'll give you which are all positive effects i'm also going to expand this one right here uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna build these, I'm gonna buy some carrots and potatoes, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've gone through and I have, uh, hoed all of the land, so I'm gonna go slash shop, go into the farming spot, buy a stack of potatoes, and I'm going to buy a stack of carrots, which are very expensive, both of them, but it will be worth it in the long run. So I'll place all this get these farms up and running for y'all and then also I actually had a really good idea for my island oops I'm actually going to put a sugarcane farm all around the very bottom of this world so where I will be able to get farming uh farming uh MCMMO up which farming is really good because once you get it to level a thousand it automatically replants everything so four four okay there dun, dun. But yeah um those sugar cane is really good for mcmm mc mmo levels so this episode i'm actually, i'm gonna start building a giant one below everything uh below everything up here and then also with uh these gaps right here i'm going to I need to grab my cobblestone. Also, I added these two chests here just to, for some storage. I know y'all saw that last clip, but just wanted to mention that. So mine these two up, and I'm going to place cobblestone all right here. So where, or hold on, let me place this row real quick. So let me explain it real quick. So I have this here. So all I have to do is, hold on. All I got to do is to, to farm is just look straight across, hold my right click button and all of this will get farmed so it's a very efficient way to farm everything uh, also I'm going to um, put melon and pumpkin farms on this side and then I'm gonna have one chunk of just cactus all the way up to uh, sky limit to where I will be getting so much cactus every like every time I'm on but yeah uh, I'm going to I'm going to mine out this bottom block real quick. Where's my dirt? No, actually, I'll start with cobblestone. So go down here. Go boom. Or I guess I didn't. I regret doing this. I'm going to mine that, actually. Place there. There. I need to uncrouch. I need to fix this. So do do. Do do. Boom boom. Mine that back down, actually. To where now I will going to go off into one of the corners real quick because there is a very efficient way to build sugarcane farms I want to make sure I do it right so I'm gonna go all the way to the corner with um, 
cobblestone, even though I will be breaking this cobblestone at some point. Or actually, hold on. I'm going to go slash enchants. I'm going to upgrade this pick real quick to efficiency 5, just for the efficiency sake. And I'm going to mine the path already. And I'm going to just go out all the way with dirt. So with this farm, I'm able to place sugarcane essentially on every single block I place. So I'm going to start in the corner, and I'm going to make the very corner block um, water, just for efficiency's sake, which filling up all these holes is going to be a lot of time. So, so you place a four like that, and then you place a four like this, and you just keep going like in this pattern if you want to extend it permanently. But what I kind of like see it as, it, they kind of look like ninja stars if that makes any sense. So then I do that, 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 and that, and then boom. Uh, let me get some more dirt real quick just to show y'all it does look kind of like a ninja star. I think it's a really satisfying uh, thing to look at. So let me do that, 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 uh, and then this one right here. So you look down at it, it kind of looks like a ninja star, doesn't it? So you got a hole there, hole there, hole there, and hole there to where sugar cane can be placed all right here, all right here, the only problem with this design is that on the edges of the farms, every once in a while you won't be able to place it, which is fine. But yes, this is going to be the farm design. I'll cut back, or I'll come back, or I'm going to work on this. I'm going to see if I can fill it all in with dirt right now, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back after just about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes worth of work. I've finished over half of the dirt placing. I've gotten most dirt done. I've gotten probably an inventory and a half worth of dirt out already and I still need probably about half an inventory of dirt to place down still. I have started placing some sugar cane that I have and placing the water in. On top of putting this water in I will also be putting uh here hold on. I will be putting slabs on top of the water just so when I go through and hit all of these sugar cane I'm still getting, uh, or I won't be falling inside these uh, water. So as I place more water down, I'll place more slabs down. Hopefully I'm able to bargain for an infinite water bucket, because that would be a lot nicer to place all the water in instead of just having these two buckets. Although I will get more buckets, but I will probably only have like nine buckets instead to where I'd still have to come back up here, fill up the water, run back down here, place it in, and then go back up and get more. So I had an infinite water bucket would be very helpful. So I'm going to see if there's one on uh, AH real quick. Uh, so let me get up back up here to where I can actually search up stuff. So slash or water. So there's no water bucket. But yeah, uh, I'm going to finish out the rest of the dirt right now. Okay, back after about another 10 minutes or so of placing dirt. I have finished the entire bottom layer of dirt. So now I will slowly start expanding this sugar cane. I bought a stack from the shop to start this. But yes, that is what I've done. Uh, off camera, I am gonna go in and fill every single hole with water, which will take me a long time. And then I'll also put slabs over each one and then I'll slowly expand it as I'm going. But other than that, I'm going to call it an episode. So today I got a potato farm started, a carrot farm started. Haven't started either of these farms of melon or pumpkin. I'll start those next episode on this side. Started the sugarcane farm, put some little storage up, smelted a bunch of items, and so let me go up here. Let me go stand on my starting slab. You know what I'm saying? So let me start right here. Let me, let me get rid of all this. I don't need any of that. Let's go. Okay, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Uh, today we got a good a good amount of work done, good amount of farming done. But yes, thank you, thank you. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. If you have any friends that would like this content as well, please share it to them. Other than that, see y'all tomorrow.